Hello and welcome to On The Hill. Just a gorgeous Thursday out here, the 23rd of March. I'm your host, John Lacan. Really excited to be joined by Ryan Wackendorfer. Ryan's a pro snowboarder from Edwards, having quite a season and finally got him on the show to talk a little bit about what it takes to excel at the top level this, in this environment we're seeing. So we're going to head over to Golden Peak, catch up with Ryan a little bit. You'll get to you'll get to actually see him without the the mask on and uh, and and meet this local boy from Edwards. So Ryan, start us off. What has been the best career moment you have had at at your at 21 years old? Um, definitely probably the Grand Prix in Mammoth this past January. Was, the event was postponed like three days in a row, so it was hard. Just like nerves and sitting in the lodge. Um, we finally got a weather day to do the event and. Um, Ended up in second place behind Sean White and um, Louis Vito was in third, which both guys I've looked up to for my whole career. So it's definitely one of the best moments I've had so far. And you had to take out some heavy hitters to, to get there, yeah, right? Scotty definitely. James winning everything this season. It was definitely a heavy field, and it was a little it was a little windy the day of the contest. So I think that played a little bit into some people's heads. And um, but yeah, I was really happy to come out with second. So so think back your it's 10 years ago you're 11 years old you're living in edwards yep. your dad's driving you to every comp on oh, the yeah. weekends and you're watching sean white and louis vito on tv just a little kid yeah yeah i'm looking up to those guys and you know i never thought i'd be on the podium with them but it was, it was a good feeling so yeah that's it i mean sean white 30 years old still taking first at these comps yeah did you ever think that would happen i mean it just proves that it can be a, a sport that you can take for a long time and you know you're not always done when you're 24 or 25 you know Louis even 28 so it's definitely a sport that has some longevity to it and definitely make a career out of it yeah and you're noticing that too that takes a little grown man strength in there like you're getting better as you're getting older and stronger for sure you know growing into your body you know you get you go through your teenager you get taller and stuff and it's hard to you know you're kind of lanky and you gotta get used to your whole body and um, being stronger and just, you know, going to the gym more, working on the tramps and doing dry land over the summer really plays a huge part to how your winter goes and how successful your season can be. So, so now flash forward another 10 years, you're, you're old man Sean White's age. Yeah. <laughs> you hope to be doing it like he is? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. You know, it's just all about staying healthy and, you know, pushing yourself to the point where you're progressing, but you're not being careless and hurting yourself and staying injury free is definitely a huge part of it, so. So, and then I learned an interesting thing about Ryan the other day. He is a math whiz, made it all the way through AP calculus in high school, and uh, really sort of impressed some of the, the people there with your, your <laughs> math skills, and you got accepted to Colorado School of Mines, yep. really good engineering school that's hard to get into. Yep, down in Golden, and you know, the whole deal was coming up through, you know, middle school and high school was, my parents would let me snowboard if I got A's and B's, and so, that was the motivation for me to do well in school and for me to keep snowboarding was that was the deal so word to parents out there yeah that's a big motivator yeah for sure definitely helped me push myself in school and so then your senior year three years ago yeah you you get great grades you make it out of these tough classes you get accepted to the u.s snowboarding team as a, on the rookie team yep you have some big decisions to make at this point yeah for sure you know as Accepted onto the U.S. snowboarding team, um, which was a huge dream of mine. It was a huge goal coming through high school, always to make that team. Um, I had also gotten accepted to mine, so I deferred for a year, just kind of to see how the season went and you know see what the whole deal was about the U.S. team. My parents was a big discussion with them, and they were gonna let me take it kind of season by season and see just where I could take it. Um, really glad that I did. Right away, so, yeah. That option's still out there for still you. Still off, yeah. You can always go to school. And you, you're taking some classes at at uh, Westminster. Yeah, right? where, where all the uh, athletes go. Westminster, in Salt Lake. Yeah, taking some. Just trying to take, you know, get general classes out of the way and go. To, just keep keep staying in it. You so. taking any math classes right now? No, I'm not actually. Didn't math need math to, classes. huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And then finally, talk a little bit about being on that U.S. team. That when you got accepted to the team. You weren't a, a guy putting down four doubles in a in a in a six hit run like yeah. you've seen. Yeah, yeah. No, it was definitely you know 
when I made the team, I had a lot of progression ahead of me, and uh, all the coaches and the staff of the U.S. team have been super helpful and awesome, both over the season, during the winter, and over the summer doing dryland stuff too. So um, it's definitely, definitely a huge opportunity. It's a really great community to be a part of, um, and everybody's awesome and progresses, helps each other progress. So and good. 21 years old now, though your your rookie days are over. Yeah. Yep. So this is my third year on the U.S. team, third year on the rookie team. So. Fingers crossed for the spring, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, because you have to either make the pro team or no team because you can't be on rookie team. Yeah, so it aged out of the rookie team, so um, it'll all come down to what happens this spring, and that'll kind of determine next season and how the summers goes. Yeah, you you knew that going into this year, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So you knew you had to get some good results. Yeah, I knew, you know, it was kind of just putting everything together, putting the past three seasons all in together, and... Yeah, making it happen. So yeah, you had that that amazing run in in Mammoth, got on the yep. podium. That's a big step. Yeah, and sure. then also you made that World Championships team. Yeah, made that, the World Champs team. Um, was able to go to Spain with that crew, which is an awesome crew. Um, made finals. Made finals. Yeah, squeaked in finals and you know finished ninth, which was still ahead of my ranking. So yeah, that's all I can ask for. Just, and that that just wrapped up, and now you're back home. Yeah, back home. For some sunny laps of bail. Yeah, say a word about what kind of conditions you're seeing yeah, out here. It's, this is like honestly one of my favorite times of the year. You know, it's sunny, your friends are all home, it's, it's super warm, and the park's awesome. So, yeah, this mountain still has a good base going. Oh, totally. Yeah, I mean, you can ride the whole mountain, I think. A, a, a week of 70 degree temperatures, and we're yeah. still uh, seeing, that seeing says a plenty lot. of snow. Yeah, that says a lot about the amount of snow we've gotten this year. So, yeah, cool, Ryan. Hey, man, yeah. well. Thanks for joining us of on course. On the Hill, and thanks to you, the viewer, for tuning in to another episode. Yeah. For now, John LeConte and Edwards resident Ryan Walkendorfer signing off, and we'll see you tomorrow.